So anyway, we know humans have been here longer than Clovis now. Clovis guys weren't the first, definitely, because for one thing, we have the Paisley Caves up in Oregon where the new the new oldest points in America called uh, West early Western stemmed points. Some people call them early Western stemmed, but that was the old name. That but anyway, the Western stem points like Lake Mojave's and a few of those others um, are uh, have been dated up at Paisley Cave at f- 1,450 years older than the oldest known Clovis site. So, and it's a totally different tool tradition, too. Uh, you know, Clovis guys were doing the uh, overshot flaking kind of stuff. These guys weren't, you know, big differences in them. But at any rate, we know humans were here longer. Uh, Leakey, uh, and Leakey says they were here 50 to 250,000 years earlier. And, uh, you know, the topper site guys are uh, pushed it back to, they say, 35 or 40,000 years. And it's disputed, like I said. Um, but um, I, I don't, I'm not saying these folks that made this out in the Mojave were the same even type of man as this here as the Homo erectus. They, you know, I have a feeling these guys here were modern humans that got here then had some kind of catastrophic event happen like where maybe all of their flint nappers or all the adults even uh, like in Lord of the Flies, you know, all died for some reason or another. Maybe it was a small group that got here and on the passageway down to this part of the world all the men were out you know, trying to defend themselves against uh, dire wolves or something, and just a few of the women and a few of the kids were all that got away, and they started up a new culture, and they didn't have these the skills to work rock, to work flint, and so they had to start over from scratch. So they went through all the steps that early, early humans went through, starting out making hand axes like this. Because basically the way... Uh, Flint technology worked is 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 the the way you start, and this is what makes it so confusing for identifying these earlier cultures if they were spread out through America, which apparently they were because we got them in the Mojave and all the way back to uh, the East Coast, you know, of thirty five forty thousand years ago. Um, that uh, that had to relearn. Uh, tool technology and and the uh, modern uh, and basically the same way that Clovis and even down to uh, uh, woodland guys the the way they would you know start making them point making their points is they'd start out and do the very first steps that Homo erectus did and they'd you know make make I don't have any blanks handy here but they'd make something like this that I found out in the Mojave um, and then, but the difference is, is modern human, modern American humans c- continue to keep working on it a whole lot longer after Homo erectus guy stopped. Like these basic same an- hand axe design was made for possibly some say as long as 800,000 years with no changes, which is really curious. They were a different kind of humans than us. Like Neanderthals, survived for 300,000 years making the exact same tools and apparently using the exact same culture the whole time. They didn't have innovations. They didn't make new stuff. They didn't experiment. They lived in small groups in caves and just did it the way Grandpa did. They didn't. They didn't add new... They, they didn't add stuff they learned. It, it's almost like they were a, had different brains, you know, the way some like birds and some animals, you know, are tool using animals, but they don't improve the tools. They just, you know, monkeys do, and chimpanzees slowly uh, improve tools and teach it to their young, but not on any, any kind of a scale like humans learn and, and, and teach their kids. and. So it's almost like, you know, how some birds or beavers know how to build dams, but it's not because they are lear- learned how to do it. It's like it's just in them. It's like a, uh, I was reading the other day about how 
um, memory, our, our knowledge can actually go into DNA, uh, some mechanism. I forget, it's too complicated for me to say here, but uh, I think that's the way early humans were operating, like Homo erectus. They were just basically like birds that know how to make nests. Well, uh, Homo erectus guys knew how to make these axes. And apparently, uh, uh, Calico Man, or whoever the equivalent of him was that made these here, because these aren't actually from the Calico site. You know, these are from a long ways away, outside that zone in the desert. And they're legal to pick up where I get them, because they're technically just big old arrowheads. Or, you know, covered by the law that way, anyway. Um... That's it for now. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do, uh, maybe I'll add it on to this one, I don't know, but there'll be a second half of this video where I'm going to show some more types of axes and stuff, but that's it for this moment.